your heart, for he has made me glad. He has made me glad, he has made me glad. Jesus has made me glad. Enter his courts with thanksgiving in your heart, for he has made me In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us rejoice as we celebrate the feast of St. John the Baptist the forerunner of Christ, the greatest prophet ever God sent to us to prepare the way of the Lord. As we see his life that invites us and draws us closer to Jesus, let us at the same time <coughs> acknowledge that we are sinners. As several times John the Baptist said, repent, ask for forgiveness of your sins and change your lives. Let us pay heed to his words. And at this Mass, let us ask for God's mercy to all of us. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, King, O God, God Almighty Father, Father Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who raised up St. John the Baptist to make ready a nation fit for Christ the Lord, give your people, we pray, the grace of spiritual joys and direct the hearts of all the faithful into the way of salvation and peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Listen to me, O coastlands, and give attention, you peoples from afar. The Lord called me from the womb, from the body of my mother he named my name. He made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand he hid me. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver he hid me away. And he said to me, You are my servant, Israel, in whom I will be glorified. But I said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for nothing and vanity. Yet surely my right is with the Lord, and my recompense with my God. And now the Lord says, He who formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, and that Israel might be gathered to him, for I am honored in the eyes of the Lord, and my God has become my strength. He says, It is to light a thing that you should be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob, and to bring back the preserved of Israel. I will make you as a light for the nations, that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response. I thank you who wonderfully made me. Can you repeat? I thank you who wonderfully made me. O Lord, you search me and you know me. You yourself know my resting and my rising. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark when I walk or lie down. You know all my ways, true and true. Your response, I thank, I thank you, you who wonderfully, wonderfully made, made me. me. For it was you who formed my inmost being, knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you who wonderfully made me. How wonderful are your works, which my soul knows well. Your response? I thank you who wonderfully made me. My frame was not hidden from you, when I was being fashioned in secret and molded in the depths of the earth. Your response? I thank you who wonderfully made me. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Paul said, God raised up David to be their king, of whom he testified and said, I have found in David the son of Jesse, a man after my heart who will do all my will. Of this man's offspring, God has brought to Israel a savior, Jesus, as he promised. Before his coming, John had proclaimed a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was finishing his course, he said, what do you suppose that I am? I am not he. No. But behold, after me one is coming, the sandals of whose feet I am not worthy to untie. Brothers, sons of the family of Abraham, and those among you who fear God, to us has been sent the message of this salvation. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Please rise for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Praise be the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Praise be the Lord. You child will be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways. Alleluia, 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 praise be the Lord. Alleluia, 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 praise be the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, to you Lord. Lord. Now, the time came for Elizabeth to give birth, and she bore a son. And her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown great mercy to her and they rejoiced with her and on the eighth day they came to circumcise the child and they would have called him Zechariah after his father but his mother answered no he shall be called John and they said to her None of your relatives is called by this name. And they made signs to his father, inquiring what he wanted him to be called. And he asked for a writing tablet and wrote, His name is John. And they all wondered, and immediately his mouth was open and the tongue loosed and he spoke blessing God and fear came on all their neighbors and all these things were talked about through all the hill country of Judea and all who heard them laid them up in their hearts saying, What then will this child be? For the hand of the Lord was with him. And the child grew and became strong in his spirit. And he was in the wilderness until the day of his public appearance to Israel. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, we have uh, a very good climate, good environment that make us feel that today is the feast of St. John the Baptist. There are showers of rains and that makes us also come closer to the event that we are celebrating today. This event is a very spiritual one. We celebrate the birthday of John the Baptist because he is a great prophet. In today's morning prayer, the priests say, the hymn begins like this, God called prophets to foretell coming of his son. The greatest was John, 
the chosen one. He showed the world the Lamb of God and hailed him in our name. So we understand the greatness of this John the Baptist. And when he was born, the people were there, they got the news. There is in today's gospel a very pertinent question raised by the people. And I think in our society also, we ask the same question, similar question. And what is that question? What then will this child be? A child is born, maybe a boy, maybe a girl in our families. The question comes, what this child will be? We are thinking of his character, of his nature. We are thinking of his personality, what he will do, what he will become. These are very, very common questions that come to our mind. Similarly, the people ask the same question. And we know the answer. He was the greatest prophet who was chosen and anointed by God to announce the coming of Jesus. That is why we called him Herald. He proclaims Christ. But what is his life? He no doubt he proclaimed Christ, he proclaimed the name of Jesus by words, by miracles. But rather than proclaiming Christ by words, miracles, sublime actions, his life is tied. Proclaim Jesus to others. Look at the image <coughs> of John the Baptist. His life was very austere. Look at the garment that he wore. He lived in wilderness until the time came for him to come out and point to the people, here is the Lamb of God. He will take away the sins of the world. He said it. And uh, so many people came to hear him. We have uh, in, in the Gospel of St. John, he was, uh, John the Baptist was preaching and preaching. You know, and various categories of people were coming to him after listening to his uh, word. For example, the soldiers came and asked him, Now tell us, what should we do? They acknowledge that they were wrong. They acknowledge that they were far away from God. So they want to come back. And uh, what uh, John the Baptist preached made a sense uh, to the soldiers. And John the Baptist told them, do not extort people. Do not trouble people. There were tax collectors also. Imagine, they also come to him and they ask him the same question. What shall we do now? And you know, the nature of tax collectors, the functioning of the tax collectors. And he told them straight away, don't tax people more than what it is established. Correct your ways, mend your ways. And there were simple people also who were asking and who asked John the Baptist what we should do. And this is something, a good answer that he gave. Maybe we can pick up the, the way uh, he expects us to live. Share with those needy. You have spare things, 
you have tunics, you have robes, you have food, you have money, you have uh, uh, good words, you have good advices, share, give to people who are in need. Reach out to them. This is the mission and we are reflecting on the theme of Sinner, which is going to take place uh, in October this year and next year. And the one uh, key word is mission. Today, let us learn from this saying, what is our mission? What are we supposed to do? How we are supposed to look at my brother, at your brother, at your sister, at your neighbor, in the office where you are working, you come in contact uh, with so many and people from uh, different faiths. How we are giving witness. And another catchy words uh, of, uh, of John the Baptist. I must decrease. I must decrease. He must increase. So we are nothing before God. We need to be humble. Humble yourselves. Don't boast yourselves. Don't take pride in your uh, degrees, in your status, in your, in your various positions that you hold. The greatest position that you hold is to reach out to others. You will be based, you will be judged on the basis of love. And uh, he was very blunt when he told people, I am nothing. After me, though he baptized and baptism water, he said, after me there will be, there will come the Messiah who will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and that is true. The baptism of Jesus filled us with the Holy Spirit to guide us, to, uh, uh, for, to tread upon the path that leads us to Jesus. There are so many things, my dear brothers and sisters, we can talk about this great prophet, but whatever you have heard in today's readings and in this reflection, is more than enough to transform our lives, to transform our living, our lifestyle. <coughs> Kindly rise. Let us deepen our faith and all together we say, I, I believe, believe in God, God the Father, Father Almighty, Creator, Creator of heaven and earth, and, and in Jesus Christ, Christ his, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Please be seated and we take the offertory hymn. For offertory, let's take hymn number B27, page 73. B27, page 73. Let me bring you, Lord, our bodies Let's 
send you light now. One in belief. Oh, we have cleared the earth. Your word, your holy word. And now in answer, Lord, our gifts we our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the story church. We place these offerings on your altar, O Lord, to celebrate with fitting honor the nativity of him who both foretold the coming of the world's Saviour, and pointed him out when he came, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In his precursor, Saint John the Baptist, we praise your great glory, for you consecrated him for a singular honor, among those born of women. His birth brought great rejoicing. Even in the womb, he leapt for joy at the coming of human salvation. He, alone of all the prophets, pointed out the Lamb of Redemption. And to make holy the flowing waters he baptized the very author of baptism and was privileged to bear him supreme witness by the shedding of his blood. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks to broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, 
when Sapa was handed, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When, when we eat this bread and, and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Philip Neri, our Bishop, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you, throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say Our, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come, come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass against us and, and lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver us, us from evil. evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you 
always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you take, take away the, the sins of, of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are you who are called to His Supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Love one another as I love you. 
Love only love is his long. Richer than gold is the love of my Lord. Better than splendor and wealth. Richer than gold is the love of my Lord. Better than splendor and wealth. Let us pray. Having feasted at the banquet of the heavenly Lamb, we pray, O Lord, that finding joy in the nativity of St. John the Baptist, your church may know as the author of her rebirth, the Christ, whose coming John foretold, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. He must increase, I must decrease. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Let us take hymn number X28, page 364. X28, page 364. Bring out your joy, give glory to God. Lift up your hearts and sing. Let all creation tell of His name. Praise Him forevermore. Blessed are you, God of our fathers. Glory and praise forevermore. Blessed your great and glorious holy name. Glory and praise forevermore. Ring out your joy, give glory to God. Lift up your hearts and sing. Let all creation tell of His name. Praise Him forevermore.